101. Now that you've arrived at the bar, you may want to know a few drinking rules. Just like there's food etiquette, there is drinking etiquette. First off, you must never, ever pour your own drink. You must either wait for someone to pour their drink for you, or pour someone else's drink for them to elicit reciprocation. And once you had your drink filled, don't drink. You must first wait for everyone to raise their glass and say the Japanese equivalent of cheers, which is kanpai. Then, and only then, can you get saucy. Good evening. There you are, my fine cool sir. Now that you're good and saucy, you may think that you're good enough to go home. Good enough to drive even? Don't do it. Japan has a zero drinking and driving policy. As in 0% BAC. And if you're ever caught drinking and driving, everyone involved that remotely had the possibility of stopping you, everyone's getting arrested. That's the sound of the police. That's the sound of the beast. That's the sound of the police. That's the yes. sound of the beast. You are going to jail. Is there a problem, Mustafa? The valet is going to jail. Did you want me to get you your car, sir? The waiter is going to jail. Well, today's lunch special is. The bartender, yeah, you guessed it, is going to jail. So, what can I get you? Whoop, whoop. The guy in the bathroom that saw you drinking earlier and heard you in the bathroom saying that you were going to drive home when he knew that you were visibly intoxicated, is going to jail. It's occupied. Don't ask me why homeboy was still in the bathroom after you paid for your meal, left the restaurant, got in your car, drove down the road, got arrested, and got locked up. He probably has bubble guts. It's not even worth it. You don't want to be locked up abroad. Just take a cab. There's even a service where two people come. One drives you home in their car, while the other drives your car home and parks it at your house for you. Don't ask me how much it costs. I drink at home by myself. <laughs> so, you made it home, safe and sound. Now, as you haphazardly try to enter your domicile, you must announce to everyone in the house that you've arrived. Using this term, Tadaima, which basically means, I'm home. Tadaima. To which someone replies, Ah, okay, that's right. Which basically means, welcome back, welcome home. It's about damn time. In practice, it should actually go a little something like this. Tadaima. 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 Oh shit, I live alone. Japan is not very big on shoes, so upon entering your home, you may be required to take off your shoes. Word of advice, always, and I mean always, can't stress this enough, always 
wear clean socks. Today, Ma. Yo, dog, take your shoes off in the house. All right, man. Dog, is that a french fry? Now that you're home, settled in, and comfortable in your own house, you may feel the inexplicable urge to remove that sauciness and the food that you had earlier via the process of excretion, meaning you may need to use the bathroom. But you'll be surprised to find that your toilet bowl is now a transformer, capable of transforming into technologically advanced hardware and doing all that type of crazy stuff. Now I'm lying. It just washes your ass for you. Stay tuned for scenes from next week's all new Japan 101. Hi, T. Sherry. Says Haiti is my beloved land. So I can it with you. Get me a Bacardi. Vice in the water. Shake it, not stir. D'accord? Mon vin. Mais t'as fait un donné, pas de Monsieur, oui. Comment est le Yemen? The name is Bond. Jean Bond. Oh, oui. Mes petits gars sont indignés les Jean Bond. Moi aussi c'est ici. Non mais, eh ben, Jean Bond. Madame Kilas, pour m'arriver Allons traquer, monsieur. <rire> 